<sighs> I am hot and cold at the exact same time. Now you might think that's a pun about how attractive I am. <laughs> it's not. It's uh, it's because I just went running. And it is negative fuck degrees outside. That's not an exaggeration. That's what my phone actually told me. I don't care if you believe it or not. That's what the screen said. A sane person might ask why the hell I'm running when it's well below freezing. Um, that's because I have one thing that I bet you don't. Motivation. Yeah, that's right. That's the difference between you and me. That's why I'm sitting here slaving over a hot laptop, staring at a camera. <laughs> I know it's not quite the new year, and 2019 was a bit of a weird time for me. So, uh, I thought maybe with the right motivation, I could make 2020 the best year of my life so far. Um, the long and short of it is I'm going to watch some motivational content and make fun of it. And you're going to watch me watch it and make fun of it because that's the YouTube metagame now. Let's just, let's just jump into it. Or maybe I'll fix my hair and change out of my sweaty clothes before we jump right into it. Gary Vaynerchuk, or Gary V, is really popular on this scene. Um, I am not the first person to take the piss out of him. Tim Dillon actually has a lot of great content making fun of this guy. It's, it's pretty much deserved. Anyway, this one's called The Greatest Speech Ever, and it was not uploaded by him. I think so many people are keyboard activists, right? Everybody's good at sending a tweet about how the world should be and nobody's doing anything about it and that just that is just very much human nature. Millennials, am I right? Oh shit, this is actually about millennials. I already hate it. Good thing I brought myself a little snack. Would hate to uh, uphold any millennial stereotypes, right? Right. I mean, people literally complain when somebody gives them the wrong amount of like extra cream in a Starbucks six dollar coffee. That's because I just paid six dollars for it. Of course I'm gonna fucking complain. There's this weird idea that boomers seem to have that Starbucks is just normal ass coffee when the truth is it's a luxury product. And you sort of have every right to complain when they fuck it up when you are in fact paying around six bucks for an eggnog latte. Here's something I just noticed. This thing has a watermark. For a channel that uploads a lot of uh, <clears throat> motivational and inspiring content, um, this interview is cut from a different YouTube channel. So all these guys did was put some B-roll and some inspiring music behind it. You know, a lot, of, a lot of online content gets ripped and snatched by other people and re-uploaded for fun and profit. Um, but I have to say, motivational content in particular is some of the most ripped and re-uploaded shit I've ever seen. You have entire accounts on Instagram that just re-upload bits of the Joe Rogan podcast or other related things and call them motivational. I really hate Instagram. Except for the booty. Do like booty. As you might imagine, um, the content on Instagram is a lot like the content on YouTube, just significantly worse. Instagram is honestly the whole reason I started doing this. I, cause I follow a couple of these hashtags. Sorry. But I noticed they were very often hijacked by accounts that had little or nothing to do with the topic in the hashtag. David Goggins is one of those motivational people I really like. Ultra marathon runner, that's fucking cool. He has several of his own hashtags. There's can't hurt me, accountability mirror. But if you, fo if you follow any of these, you're going to be hit by accounts that have nothing to do with Goggins or the challenges in his book, which is annoying as shit. Anyway, before we get on to hashtag hijackery, here's something that I thought was very interesting because there's fucking Dragons in it. Remember, everything hard will be painful, but just because there is pain doesn't mean you have to suffer. So pain and suffering are synonyms. That's all. I'm not gonna go further into that. That was dumb. <laughs> this one's funny. Best advice from dad to son from what is obviously a movie that I've never seen. 
You believed in Santa for eight years. You can believe in yourself for ten seconds. You told him to believe in Santa. That was just his fault for trusting you. Why should he do it now? Real talk, though, that's actually a question that fucks me up all the time. It's like, every idiot thinks they're smart. How do I, how do I know I'm smart? If I think I'm smart, what if I'm actually just an idiot who thinks he's smart? <sighs> Instagram is so boring. In 2020, I want to live my life without stress and worries. I don't need to be rich and famous. I just want to be happy. From one millennial to another. Happiness is an illusion. It's an end goal that doesn't exist because life always has more curveballs to throw at you. Things go wrong. Get used to it. Don't try to be happy. Try to be the type of person who can endure. I'm getting way off track. I, welcome, to the, welcome to my channel. This is what I do. I get way off track. People, how are you? Me. I'm fucking busy. Type yes letter by letter. <laughs> of course it's yes letter by fucking letter. Look at these fucking scrubs doing it. God, why? Why is the internet full of people who don't understand how these games are played? It's so obvious. Also, can you imagine answering like that? Like, first of all, people, so it's like, you know, a large mob. Just showing up being like, how are you? They got torches and pitchforks and a, probably a noose somewhere in there. You just look at them and say, I'm fucking busy. Why do I, why do I set up elaborate scenarios as jokes and then just shit all over them? You glow differently when you are actually happy. All right, so I don't know shit about this quote, but this girl's hair is on point and I want that shirt. I unironically want that fuzzy ass crop top. I will wear that. Don't think I won't. Also, that's such a nice shade of green. Hot damn. It's a shame I have to dye my hair back to its natural color. Otherwise I'd dye it that color. That looks freaking good. Why are these Joker quotes? Here's a gem. People do not die from suicide. They die from sadness. <laughs> And the fourth line of the description is DM for paid promotions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would really, I would really want a Starbucks ad on this fucking quip about suicide. <laughs> I take suicide pretty seriously. So like, suicide itself isn't funny, but this quote is dumb. And the fact that they were willing to shell out for advertising on it is even dumber. God damn, I can't decide if I love the internet or I hate it. I guess the real answer is yes. <laughs> Do I love the internet or hate it? Yes. All right, let's pull up Can't Hurt Me. So Can't Hurt Me is a hashtag in David Goggins' book for his book. There's a bunch of challenges in it that you're supposed to, you know, keep up with other people online. And this, the, the, the examine, oh, the examine stoic. Okay, I can read. All right, I majored in English. I can read. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. That is precisely fuck all to do with the hashtag I just searched. Oh, I've actually read a lot of these. I've actually read a lot of these. Oh no. Oh no, I'm the target demographic. More of these. The examined stoic. Okay, there's an actual clip of David Goggins. Let's see if this is his Instagram account. I bet it's not. These are normal people using the hashtag. That's what it's for. That's what I like. Way to go, normal people. Even though I'm halfway into this field of internet motivation and success, I still think it's mostly crap. My basic stance is that most motivational content is complete and total garbage. Because motivation is, an, is a very temporary feeling that gets you pretty much nowhere. It's, it's very popular to say discipline is more important than motivation, and it is. But, enjoying yourself, you know, finding, finding pathways of success through things you actually enjoy doing is probably the best way to go about things. But what do I know? I'm just some purple-haired millennial making fun of other people on the internet. Thanks for watching. Do it! Yes, you can!